Hey guys, so this is your staff mentor Neil. I'm live again to bring you some uh, information about the uh, different kinds of uh, investment uh, opportunities anywhere in the world. So mostly Philippine market, but uh, right now I'm expanding my uh, reach. So we are going to tackle uh, US market as well. So of course, uh, most of the people I uh, talagang uh, familiar sa mga investment like uh, normal stock trading that's good uh, I started this way however uh, I also uh, ventured on other opportunities because you know normal stock trading it's not always uh, uh, green <laughs> so there are really times when the market is bad and the strategy is not fitting to to the market that you are trading. So alright guys, so patiin ko lang kayong lahat uh, na nakikinig at nanonood sa akin ngayon. Uh, hi sa inyo lahat. This is uh, again your stock mentor Neil. Uh, you can call me Neil, Sir Neil, whatever. At nga pala, congrats para sa mga big time winners ng uh, PHA sa Philippine market at yung mga big time winners today sa Green. Wow! So yung mga followers ko, my stock mentor Neil Stock uh, are really very thankful and happy about their gains. It was really quick. So we already pressed the sell signal. Say 50% I got or 30% in one day. That is really awesome. So you cannot uh, have it anytime. So, but the, but the opportunities will come again. So we will see. All right, so marami nagjo-join ngayon at I'm pretty sure that uh, most of you are interested about this option trading. So guys, wala pa masyado nag-trade ng ganyan. And uh, I will tell you first uh, how how did it come to my uh, trading career. Na ngayon, uh, I'm I'm actually a normal stock trader, but now I am already very much uh, uh, engaged in the option trading. And this is the main reason is that uh, its ability to generate profit consistently is so so high guys even the win rate the profit loss uh, that I have it has totally changed uh, uh, compared when I was doing a normal stock trading of course I'm talking about in the US market because the US market nowadays the market is uh, very unpredictable because of many issues like U.S.-China trade war, uh, uh, problem with the U.S. government, karon ng government shutdown, mayroon pang mga feed rate hike. So this type of environment, guys, is really a kind of environment that you will lose more than when you are winning. Even if you are, you have the best strategy that, uh, for the normal stock trade. You know. Uh, uh, you also need to know that in normal stock trading, you need to see, to find out that in what type of environment or market environment your strategy fits. Because uh, you will be forcing it in a kind of environment which is not actually good. So for instance, a momentum trading will not work in a bear market. It will only work with the bullish market in a sideways market. And never in the in the in the uh, bear market. Of course, uh, you can reverse the strategy, but uh, being a long uh, trader uh, compared to a short short uh, or shorting trader or short trader, short trader is much much more risky. Because bigla na lang magkakaroon ng good news, then makikik out kasi short uh, trade mo. So I'm only doing shorting if there's a big reason to do it, right? So, but in the U.S. Uh, option market, there are plenty of uh, opportunities, and it's uh, the good thing is that it's not only applicable for bull market; it's also applicable for bear market, and it's also applicable for neutral market. So, tatanungin ko kayo guys, if the market is neutral and you have a stock uh, trade you, you bought something uh, let's say 50 pesos per share or 50 dollar per share if the market is not moving you won't uh, have a profit right? correct 
because uh, in, in normal stock trading, when you buy a stock, you are expecting that the uh, market price will move up, and it will not it will not profit if it is just staying uh, in a ranging market. So one dollar, two dollar uh, increase, then back to one dollar, back to two dollar. So voila. In options trading, you are able to profit even if the stock price is not moving. So how is it? So this is one of the features of, uh, of uh, option trading. So ngayon, ano nga ba itong option trading? So actually may nag-send sa akin ng tanong na ano ba itong option trading? Ano yung kaibahan nito sa forex? Ano yung uh, mga broker na pwede mo uh, uh, pwede ka makapag-open or mag-apply ng account? And uh, yeah, how much money is uh, needed to open? Alright, so since we are... Okay, sagutin ko muna yung una. Uh, options trading, it can be... So, it's actually a derivative of uh, a normal trading. So, ganito yun. Para hindi natin siya masyadong um, pahirapan, finish yun. Halimbawa, uh, uh, I am a seller of something. I'm, I'm selling something. So, let's say I'm, I'm selling to you this coffee that I am uh, drinking now. And... <laughs> Uh, let me drink my coffee first para naman ay uh, karon tayo ng energy dito. So, natatapos ko lang ng lunch ko dito guys and uh, usually tumatambay muna ako bago bumalik sa office nyo. So, ayan. So, let's say I have a coffee here and I am a seller. I, I would like to sell this coffee to you for uh, uh, Let's say ten dollar. Say mamahaling kape. <laughs> so ten dollar. But uh, I will make a condition that uh, you can only buy this coffee within uh, five days. So tagal no. Parang di realistic yun ano natin example. So okay. So so nagpigay ako sa inyo sa yun ng five days na expiration. So isa yan. So una meron kang price ng binebenta mo. So, ka coffee. Then, bibigyan kita ng expiration na susulat ako ng contract na that uh, you will buy this coffee at $10 within uh, 5 days. So, kapag hindi mo, pag binili mo siya ng $5, uh, bibili mo siya ng $5 at uh, kailangan mo ngayon i-exercise uh, i yung right mo para bilhin. Uh, completely itong uh, binibili mo sa akin na okay. So, in option trading, you have the price of the, of the contract. So, hindi na stock yung pinag-uusapan natin. Yung, yung stock, yung stock price at option price are two different things. Uh, the market price is different but it is also affecting the option price. If the market price is going high, the option price might also go high depending on what type of option. So may dalawang class ng option. Ito yung uh, call option at yung put option. Yung call option guys, you are buying a call option if you are uh, assuming or, or uh, you have the belief that the stock price will, the market price of a stock will move higher in the next few days or months or years, whatever. So, so meron, siyang, meron tayong time of expiration. It, it can be one week, uh, can be one month, uh, six months, whatever. So you are the one who will be uh, choosing your expiration. So, pag bibili ka ng isang option, so call option, so pag call option yung bibilhin mo, ibig sabihin, you are assuming that, hey, this stock uh, na Apple, Apple stock will rise uh, uh, 10 or 20 dollars in the next 6 months. In that case, you will buy a call option. Kasi in that period of time, you believe that it will go higher. So, market price will go high as well as the option price. So again, yung option price at yung uh, market price are two different things. Don't mix them. But they are related to each other. If the market price goes up, 
the poll option will the value of this will also move higher that's why pag bumili ka niyan limbawa binili mo yung apple na option apple option with an expiration of one month binili mo yan and you believe that the stock price the market price will move higher because of some good earning result for example apple just reported recently a very very good uh, uh, earning result uh, yesterday in fact i was able to trade option against this and uh, uh, luckily i was able to make some profits and i will be collecting uh, before friday i say uh, i have just uh, chosen a short term option uh, expire siya within few days only, which is tomorrow friday so back to apple uh, kapag uh, kapag ngayon uh, umakyat nga yung uh, option price ng Apple uh, ng, I mean yung market price ng Apple ang mangyayari niyan magkakaroon ngayon ng uh, uh, drastic increase ng uh, demand para bilhin yung option contract and because of that yung demand na yan yan ang nagtutulak ng price pataas so it's also working as a demand and supply ang maganda dito kasi Kapag nag-move lang ng mga 3 or 4% yung, yung market price, yung option price kaya mag-move nito ng 30%, 40%, 50%, kahit pa nga 100% eh, or more than 100%. This is the reason why it is so powerful that even if there is only a small market price move, yung, yung option price is moving so high uh, kapag, uh, kapag uh, uh, nagkakaroon ng mga positive news. This is the call option, alright? So you are betting for a stock to move up. So that's why you are buying a call option, alright? So reverse naman. How, how about if we are assuming that or we, we, we feel that uh, even from the news that they are saying that the, the stock price of, uh, of uh, let's say, um, a famous Twitter, Twitter na ano na company na stock. The stock price will move down because of some bad news uh, related to Twitter, for, um, uh, issues about privacy, about something like what happened to Facebook stock uh, when they were uh, when they had that uh, scandal with the uh, Cambridge Analytics or mahabang usapan to. So, limbawa nagkaroon ng bad news sa Twitter. And because of the bad news, you are betting that the stock uh, Twitter, the stock price will move down, move down. So, if the stock price, if you are assuming that the stock price will move down, in that case, you can buy a put option. Kasi yung put option, uh, okay, so, balik muna tayo sa call option. So, the call option is a contract an option contract that is stating uh, the right for the buyer to to, uh, to buy the stock at a certain price. Ano nga ba itong certain price? So sa isang contract, nakasaad dyan yung strike price at yung expiration. Yung strike price, yan yung napagkasunduan yung presyo na, na, na kung saan bibilhin mo yung isang stock. So, pag, pag sinabi kong uh, call, uh, 150 call option expiring March 1, 2019, it means that uh, at the price, uh, uh, once uh, it means that if I buy that call option contract, I buy that call option contract, it will give me now the, the rights to buy the, the stock at that strike price na 150. So ngayon, paano tayo kikita dito? Eh kapag pagkikita tayo dito kapag within the period na hindi pa nag expire yung option at yung market price ng Apple nag-move into 155 or 160 or whatever, 117 or nag-skyrocket to 200. We have that right to buy the Apple at still 150 kahit yung market price niya ay tumaas na masyado. This is the way how you can make profit in option trading. Kasi you have that uh, right. 
So this is one way only to profit. Yung bang i-convert mo yung yung contract into stocks. Ito yung exercising your option contract. So but it's just an option also to exercise. It's not a mandatory. Kaya nga tinatawag itong option kasi marami kang options eh. May mga option ka na ah hindi ko i-convert ibebenta ko na lang. So paano naman tong ibebenta? So there are ways to earn. It's uh, converting the stock option into uh, into I mean the option contract into uh, stocks. So on every one option contract you are able to convert that to 100 shares of stock. Alright, so in every option contract, you are able to convert it to 100 shares of stocks. So if you buy two contracts, you will, you will have that right to, to, uh, to have or to buy uh, 200 shares of stocks. Ang maganda pa dito kasi even if... Uh, you, uh, I mean, uh, maganda pa dito kasi for 100 shares of, of Apple, sh uh, Apple stock, ang bawa 150 times 100, so 150 per share, then i-multiply natin ng 100, kailangan mo ngayon ng 15,000 para magkaroon ng 100 shares of Apple. But in options, you don't need to have 15,000 to have 100 shares, to control 100 shares of Apple. You only need the amount of uh, the price of the contract. Halimbawa, yung usually mga contracts are are priced. Uh, it depends so uh, on the expiration. So let's say yung one month na option contract is only at five dollar, uh, five dollar per uh, contract. So five dollar per contract. Simply mo multiply mo yan into one hundred. Kasi in every contract there is one hundred shares. So 5 times 100, so it will only cost you 500 in order for you to control 100 shares. So, kung bibilhin mo siya ng in cash, I mean normal stock trade, yung 100 shares mo, you need $15,000. So, so, you only need a smaller investment, uh, but you can control a big amount of shares of a particular uh, uh, particular uh, stock. Alright, so that is about the uh, call option. So again, when you when you are buying a call option, you are betting that the stock price will move up. Kasi, pag hindi yan mag move up, malulugi ka. Why? Kasi, may expiration eh. So, yan ang kalaban mo. Pag isa kang buyer ng option, you are actually fighting against the time decay. So, mayroon ka lang one month and and yung yung halimbawa yung 500 500 na investment mo to buy a one contract option option contract uh, yung 500 na yan unti-unti yang naluluusaw so mayroon time decay yung value ng contract mo habang tumatagal uh, nagdi-decay yan yung time decay niya in that case yung value also is also uh, depreciating that's the disadvantage when you are a buyer so it's like uh, buying a car, right? When you buy a car, as time goes by, the value of your car is depreciating. It's also the same when you are buying a uh, option contract. The the, uh, the, uh, the value is also decreasing. So again, the other contract, uh, I mean the other option contract, is so-called uh, put option contract. Ano naman itong put option contract? But before ako tumungo sa put option contract, kumpatiin ko muna itong mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Na Crystal, uh, one of my uh, one of the subscribers of my stock updates. McBride also is one of my subscribers. Jamar, uh, Baltria. So, marami dito mga talagang nagpa-follow talaga sa akin and I'm very glad and happy for that. So Jesse, uh, tinuruan ko ito si Jesse sa aking one-on-one -one session. So you see that I can still remember your names. So because I'm your mentor. <laughs> so when, when you are a mentor, you really remember your students, right? So Maynard, mga familiar, mga familiar na mga names. Uh, Felix, MC, 
Muachi. Yan, marami mga subscribers ko dito sa stock updates ko. Ang talagang nagpa-follow sa akin. And it really you know, warms my heart. It's uh, so heart heartwarming, guys. So, I hope that every one of you are okay. And ito tayo at uh, nagpapalaganap ng kalaman sa mga kababayan natin na uh, uh, I feel that I am the medium of uh, educating many people kasi by need of a professional so I'm a teacher. So, I really want to share my knowledge and that's where I am passionate about as well. That's why I'm teaching others. So you might be asking why. It's because teaching is really my one of my passions. So put option. It's about. Kung uh, kung uh, yung call option is about uh, hab uh, having the rights or buying the rights to uh, having the right to buy the the stock at a particular strike price. Yung put option naman is you are. You have that uh, right to sell uh, particular sh uh, share of stock at a particular strike price. So, kabalik taran siya. So, yung call, it's about buying, the uh, right to buy, and yung put option naman is the right to sell. So, ayan. So, paano to gagamitin? Uh, gagamitin natin to kapag uh, bearish tayo sa isang stock. So, limbawa, limbawa yung isang uh, isang uh, company sa ano sa USA yung PCG yung sila yung ano um, nag-file sila ng bankruptcy kasi dahil sa wildfire sa California talagang nag-deep dive yung stock na yan if you will check in investing.com kung ano nangyari dyan sa stock price Talagang nag-deep dive from 36 tapos ngayon ano na lang, $8. From 36 naging $8 na lang. So kapag may mga ganyan, you can really make use of an option contract to gain unlimited amount of money in a short period of time. You just buy a put option kasi you are bearish, right? So in a, in a, in a let's say, in a 5-day expiration option, bilhin mo yung option contract na yan because you are really betting up that uh, stock to go, go down drastically. You will have unlimited profits uh, with a very small investment. So, you are betting the stock to go down. That's why you are buying put option. So, because you have that right to, to sell a particular stock at a specific strike price. So, let's say, sinabi ko 36 yung price ni PCG now you you purchase a put option with a strike price 36 within expiration of 5 days only then big lang nag dip dive si ano si PCG kagaya ng nangyari kay Baita na nalugi ako today kasi hindi ako nakapagcut loss so ayun uli na yung cut loss ko uh, actually i was very profitable with Baita 17% uh, i keep holding it uh, and added more then biglang nagbuhos uh, I think it was uh, last Monday hindi ako nag-exit uh, kasi I was still waiting for a bounce para mag-exit lang however hindi siya nag-bounce sa point na meron na akong sell order ang nangyari today mas lalo pang nag-breakdown so ayan instead na profitable ako ng 17% Nalugi pa ako. So, ito yung pinakamasaklap sa trading sa Philippine market. Yung bang hindi ka nakakapag-cutlose agad kasi natutulog ka noong time na yun. We have a very, uh, we are, we have a different time zone here. We are delayed with 7 hours. So, uh, morning session sa Pilipinas sa trading, tutulog pa ako noon. Eh, wala tayong cutlose sa order sa Pilipinas. That's what I really don't like. Kasi bukod sa wala akong sa time zone, then wala pang stop loss. Then trading the very volatile stock in the Philippine market might uh, bring me, you know, uh, bad, bad, uh, uh, bring me losses. So ayan, that's just about the <laughs> Philippine stock market. So I, I am a normal trader. It's normal to lose, but you need to make it small as much as possible. So there are really days which are really good, 
like what's happening now with the US stock market with my option trades, but there are also bad days like in the Philippine stock market. So, but anyway, uh, tomorrow will be another trading day, like cut loss now, and we'll be preparing my next trade plan. Right, so for those who want to follow my trade plans, my analysis, insights, uh, teaching, mentorship, just write me a message uh, and we can also discuss the details. I am doing also one-on-one -on -one session uh, via online. I am also releasing stock updates uh, via my Facebook page. And the good thing is that I am not really asking huge amount of money for fees kasi nakita nyo naman yung ibang mga nag-advertise like me, mentorship. Tingnan nyo na lang yung kanilang prices and compare it to me. And what you get there and what you get there. So, that's what I can say. I don't want to say negative things against uh, my co-mentors, but my, what I can say is the pricing might not be might, might, might not be right sometimes. So I don't think that uh, asking too much from an investor will, uh, will really, it's really fair because we are investing and our goal is really to make money and not to you know, spend it too much. So we can, of course, we can invest into some parts but not very big amount na halos kalahati na ng portfolio mo yung, yung ginastos mo para sa mentorship. Alright, so my goal is really to help you out guys. Uh, uh, feel free to message me so I can help you. Alright, so ayan. So yung diniscuss ko ngayon sa inyo is just an overview. But if you want me to discuss more details about the strategy that I'm using, you can feel free to message me and we can do we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one session online. So I'm starting to do one-on-one -on -one session on, on, on options because I can see profitability so I can prove it. Uh, and it's not just a story. You can see my post. Yung mga halos araw-araw, may ako, mayroon akong kinokollect ng $300, $500. Actually, the one that I posted is just one. I have other positions as well. Like for example, uh, uh, Facebook, I will be collecting again. Uh, I think it will be almost uh, $1,000 that I will be able to collect uh, Facebook stock. That's an option trade. It's because of the very positive earnings. And even if uh, the, the, the earnings will be bad, I can still make profits. Or I can break even. This is the worst case. If I lose, I lose very, very small amount. This is the... the, the the style in, in uh, option trading. So you have a limited risk but high, uh, very high uh, potential to profit. And why is it so? It's because in this case that I am buying put or, 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 or call, that's the, not the strategy that I'm using. I am a seller. I'm usually selling, not buying. Because once you are selling, you are collecting the fee. You are, you are selling something to others, I'm selling the option contract, then they will pay me. So, kapag nag-expire yung contract and, uh, and the contract uh, and, and the conditions, the strike price was not hit or the price did not move too much, then I will be collecting money. So, th there are ways how, how I can collect money. It's when the, stru the, the, the stock did not move too much. So, when I'm selling option, if the stock if the stock did not move too much, I am earning. If the if the stock moves skyrocket, I will earn big. If the stock moves a little, I will just moves a little bit down. I will just break even. So guys, if you are trading the normal stocks, the price moves below two uh, two dollar, three dollar, five dollar. You are a loser already. You, you lose. You cut loss, right? In option, even if you the stock stock price moves below your strike price you can still break even you are not a loser this is the this is the reason why the, the strategy that i'm using is so powerful enough and profitable that it makes consistent monthly income even weekly income monthly income depending on the expiration if your option is weekly then you will earn weekly if your option expiration is one month then you can have consistent one month but the, the thing here is that 
you really actually don't need to wait for the expiration. Kasi pag makakita ka na ng profitability na 50%, 30%, 40%, maximum 50% out na ako. So, take profit ko na yan. Hindi ko na inaantay yun yung expiration. And how to close it? You are just... If you are selling an option, you simply just buy back to close the trade. So, you sell at 5, you buy back at 2. That is more than 50% profitability. You sell at 10, you buy back at 5. That is 50% profitability. And these things are happening within the short period of time. So, if the, even if the option is one month, you don't need to wait one month in order for you to profit. For example, what I posted in, uh, in my page, if you check it, it was only, it was a one month expiration option, but within one week, it's already profitable and I'm ready to take my profit. So, because of this uh, style, I am able to increase my win rate and my profitability and decreasing the risk on the table, taking off money from the table and rolling it again, investing in other options, uh, stocks. And the good thing now is that mga earnings naglalabasan. Kapag may earnings, yung market very volatile. So, ito, volatility. You can make money from the volatility kasi once uh, the earnings, the earnings report is coming out, the emotions of the people, the excitement is too high. Some people might be, uh, might be thinking of, uh, of uh, uh, earning uh, might be speculating that the earnings will be very well will beat the market or will beat the Wall Street forecast. So in that case, yung hype nandun and that kind of hype and uh, the emotion, the how do you say the mania in the market, you can take advantage of that by selling option, not buying, but selling. Because yung volatility niya above, I mean, very very high. So, nasa level talaga na very uh, high yung volatility ng market. So, option trading, ito yung maganda. Kasi pag nagbebenta tayo, kapag mataas yung volatility, magbebenta tayo kasi yung option price mataas. So, once you sell at a high price, then the known, the unknown, the, the report was unknown kung nag speculate pa lang. Kinabukasan yan, limbawa yung Facebook yesterday, many people are speculating that it will be good. Many people are spe speculating that it will be bad. So because of that, the option price keeps moving and moving higher before the earnings. So ang gagawin ko dyan, one hour before mag-close yung market, then magre-report na yung stock. Magbebenta ako ng option at a high price. Then kinabukasan niyan, lalagpak na yung volatility kasi alam na nila na na positive yung news, negative yung news, babagsak na kayo yung volatility, magkukulap siya, then the option price will move down as well. So, very, very quick uh, move na yan. Hindi lang yan 5%, it's around 30, 40, 50%, even 100% is possible. So, that's why, in a very short period of time, you can really make profits from options. And this is why it's so powerful, uh, aside from that, that it, it has a... Uh, powerful enough to make money uh, quickly you can have a consistent result provided that you are executing your plans with discipline hindi yung very aggressive tayo na ay, talagang kumikita to kasi ano na natin, itodo na natin nandun pa rin yung mga rules of trading, yung mga position sizing and, uh, and uh, ah, dito so, position sizing, emotion, uh, psychology, applied pa rin yan. So, walang pinagkaiba. Yung ano lang, yung mechanism niya ay iba. So, parang reverse psychology tayo dito. Instead na bibili tayo, magbebenta tayo. So, kaiba no? So, this is why I feel that the option trading is the ultimate solution if you want consistent earnings. And even if you are working, uh, full-time work, you can still have that uh, capabilities because you don't need to monitor your options every now and then. Let the market play the price, but the option price will just uh, move accordingly. <laughs> so, depende talaga sa strategy. Kailangan mo muna map matutunan no? ano, ano, ano yung mga strategy na dapat kung matutunan. That needs to be applied in a certain scenario. So, pag may earnings, 
earning report na lalabas, ano yung, ano yung uh, strategy na nararapat para dyan? Kapag bullish yung market, ano yung strategy na nararapat dyan? Kapag bearish yung market, ano yung strategy na nararapat dyan? These are the things that you need to learn. And you can learn it from me. So feel free to write me a message and we can talk about the details. And let's discuss and, and uh, do options trading, learn option trading. Right, so before ko I close yung session na to, ay batiin ko muna yung mga uh, nag-abang sa aking live session na yun. Nandito si Manu from Australia. Um, hi Manu. Manu is one of my subscribers and my stock updates. So again, uh, feel free to message me also if you want to join my group about my stock updates. For Philippine market pa lang yun. Eh. Well, hindi pa ako nag-create ng US market. But maybe sooner or later, uh, I will do it as well. Alright, Nano, Romy, hi sa inyong lahat. Uh, Namra, son of man, Mel from Lawag. Emiliano from Riyadh. Francis, uh, hi sa inyo. Okay, Crystal. Alright, so tingnan ko yung mga questions dito. Okay na sir. Ah, okay, so may nag-subscribe sa akin. Salamat Bernard. Uh, I will note this one. So Bernard just uh, subscribe to my stock update. Salamat Bernard. Alright, so paano yung option, ito may tanong, paano yung option trading sir? Pwede pa me mag-open? Andito ako. Okay, by the way, ano yung mga brokers na nag-offer ng option trading? So, yung ginagamit ko is interactive brokers. So, napakaganda kasi yung commissions nga, yung napakaliit, only $1 per, per leg, yung option trade, $1 lang yung binabayaran yung commission. Then yung platform, wow, ibang iba, the best. I think I won't find any other broker because I have the best broker in this world. Uh, there is also, by the way, yung uh, interactive broker, you need the uh, minimum $10,000. That's the, the, it's a very good platform, but you need minimum $10,000 to open that. But for those uh, small accounts, you only uh, you can open with trade station actually nag open ako ng trade station uh, the problem is i have i already uh, have applied the interactive broker and it was approved kaya nag stick to interactive broker na lang but the trade station kailangan mo na uh, 500 dollar minimum so mas mura siya right so nag nag offer din sila pati yung interactive broker ng paper trading account yung bang virtual portfolio na pwede ka mag-practice mo so practice practice ka muna kasi delikado pag real money yung yan mo uh, laruin mo but to tell you honestly guys I did not learn too much when I was just virtual trading in option so parang wala akong interest what you should do is really to put a small amount and just play with that small amount wag mo nang malaki if you are not able to make profit from the small amount, don't expect that you will profit in a big amount. That's the rule, right? So play small, and later on, once you see profitability, na ano mo na, na gamay mo na yung ano, na laro mo na at uh, parang okay na, nagkukolek ka na rin ng dollar every other day like me, then make it bigger, right? So you will really, you will really realize, and I'm excited about that moment that you will tell me that you are really right, sir. So, this is really the one that I want to do. And uh, uh, to tell you honestly, I'm already planning to retire within five years on my job as an engineer. So before my 40, I will be a retired engineer. And it's because I see the opportunities here in this type of uh, trading, which is option. Of course, I am also doing. Uh, normal st stock trading but uh, I will pair it with option kasi mas ano siya uh, mas uh, consistent then uh, normal stock trading will be decided of course so if you combine both this uh, stock trading normal normal stock trading and option trading together you will be a uh, super scion <laughs> just kidding Alright, so guys, uh, this is your stock mentor Neil and uh, you know my passion really to share and to educate our kababayans uh, all over the world. Uh, this is really what I like to do, uh, to share knowledge to others and 
be, be, be a blessing to others because I am blessed and so I want to share to others. Alright, so pwede ba may uh, yung tanong dito, post possible ba na maka-invest lang ni sa inyo? <laughs> Ang problema kasi I'm also I'm also handling funds. I have my I am already handling my fund a, a, a fund of another person and I might be overwhelmed so hindi ko masyado makokontrol so I want you really to learn it and be able to control it by yourself so don't be frightened by it you just need to learn and play with small amount then once uh, medyo na ano ka na um, nahasa ka na doon mo na tuduhan na more, be, uh, put more funds This this can be really good for long long uh, long term. Kahit mag-retire ka pa sa job mo, then alam mo na mag-option trading. You can do option trading and earn money consistently from it. Alright, so next question. Ayan, so Iran. Okay, so hindi to next question kundi ano, <laughs> may nag-subscribe ulit sa King Stock Update. So, parami ng parami ng mga kababayan natin yung, yung, yung nagjo-join sa group ko and I'm so glad with it kasi in this way I am able to help more people more kababayan and the good thing here in my stock updates you know, ito naman ay stock updates uh, uh, it's not about spoon feeding that's the first uh, kasi in every post that I am doing I'm really uh, verbalizing uh, sinasabi ko yung mga ano yung mga analysis ko, bakit sinabi kong bison, yan. So, binibigyan ko ng description and, and uh, description ng analysis ko. In that way, you will learn also, and not just uh, following what is posted. Then, you have also an interaction with the group. You can also write my message. So, ano pa? So, with a very small amount, you can really uh, uh, leverage your uh, edge in trading so don't just trade alone especially if you are a newbie because it will always come out uh, a losing uh, losing result trade with somebody who already knows the market and who was who was profiting from it. all right so thanks guys and uh, god bless you lahat i hope that uh, you were able to learn something from this live video so next time we'll let Bye.